This is what I usually wear to work. You may wear a coat and a tie or a dress and high heels. In a dream, you could end up wearing just about anything. You see, most dreams are symbolic and what you're wearing symbolizes what you're doing now or what you're going to be doing in the future. Hey man, what you wearing? Well, an outfit like that can mean you're getting ready for spiritual warfare. The color you're wearing could also be symbolic of something positive or negative depending on the context of the dream. Red could symbolize power, redemption, anointing, or on the darker side, anger, war, and destruction. How about brown? Brown could represent compassion or, or a pastoral nurturing feeling. On the other hand, it could also represent humanism. Blue symbolizes revelation and communion, or it could represent emotional lows. Gold or amber represents something that's holy or hallowed. On the other hand, it could also represent greed. Purple represents authority. The opposite of that would be ungodly authority. Orange is perseverance or stubbornness, and yellow represents the mind or fear or lack of courage. What about other colors? Denise Olson sent us two dreams with pink in them. The first was about a pink shoe. I was standing in a room, almost like a tall wooden attic. Clotheslines and ropes were stretched crisscrossed and in many different directions. Many objects hung from the ropes. I saw a pink dress sandal with crisscross straps and a one inch heel. I reached up and pulled it off and looked at it in my hand. Denise, it really is a very good dream. Sometimes dreams that seem out of character don't seem like they would have any type of meaning, but this one has great meaning for you. There's three things you need to remember other than that you're the focus of the dream because the dream would fall apart if you weren't in this particular dream. So there's three things. You have the attic that, that is there. You also have the pink sandal that you ended up with and you have the clotheslines that were going in all different directions. The dream basically means this that there's opportunities that you have from the past and you have been prepared one way, but there's so many different confusing things out there. Clothing represents covering. Shoes represent peace, so the, uh, the way you should walk. And so what you're facing from your past is, or from what you've been trained to do, maybe you're facing a conflict of what you're trained to do versus what you want to do. Things are crisscrossing and confusing in your life, but here's the key. You picked up the pink shoe. The pink shoe is very interesting in that it's a combination, pink is a combination of red and white, meaning combination of anointing and calling, and it's a combination of white or righteousness. So what God is saying to you is that I'm gonna present a righteous opportunity that you're going to walk into. And it's, and it's a one inch heel, so you're gonna walk in a little higher. Once you step into this calling, you're gonna walk a little higher than you have before. Great, great dream, meaning things are going to get better. They're not going to remain the same, and all the confusion of the past is going to disappear in this righteous and this anointing and this walking in the shoes of peace that God has prepared for you. Denise had pink hair in her other dream. I was standing at a bathroom sink, looking in the mirror at my newly dyed pink hair, which was very short, about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch high. It was really matted down, so I rubbed my fingers vigorously back and forth all over my head to get my hair to stand up. For a split second, I wondered what people would think. But since I have never really cared about what people think about me, I left the bathroom ready to join my sister-in-law for plans to go out. So Denise, these two dreams actually tie together and the reason they do is the issue of pink, pink sandals, pink hair. Now, there's three things you need to take a look at in this as well. One is the bathroom sink, the other one is your hair, 
and the issue that the condition of the hair, whether it was short, it was dyed, dyed pink, and it was matted. Okay, so the hair, the bathroom sink, and the condition of the hair. The dream basically means this, it tied in again to the other dream where you're walking in peace. In order to progress to this place where you're walking in peace and get rid of all the historic distractions and things that are confusing in your life, there's something God is gonna start dealing with, and that is, the bathroom represents places of getting rid of things that are uh, maybe stained us or we need to wash our hands or, or toxins that are in our life. So there's toxins that God is working on getting rid of so you can reach, reach your calling. He's already worked on your thinking. That's what the hair represents. The hair represents you're starting to think in righteous terms. You're starting to think in anointed terms. But there's two conditions of the hair. One is it's short, meaning you haven't been thinking this way for long meaning that would be long hair, but you've been thinking this way for a short period of time, but it's, it's significant because it's a significant growth. You've recognized the need for the change. The second thing is it was matted down, meaning don't allow yourself to come into a place of seeming luxury that you don't have to work at this issue. Yes, you may not care what people think on one hand, but you certainly care what God thinks on the other hand. So don't allow your, your seeming independence to make you independent from what God has wanted you to do. Hair also represents wisdom, meaning the way you think. It represents glory. So what you want to do is you want to have the wisdom of God, think like the, like the Lord wants you to think, and at the same time, you're going to walk in and you're going to be relevant to what's going on all around you. Great, great dream. Not all dreams are in color. There are black and white dreams and the dreams that appear dark or gray or muted colors. These are dreams revealing the plans of the enemy. They're revealed and God allows them so you can pray against them. God is full of color, perfect light in every way. And he likes color and I like colors too. I'm John Paul Jackson. Thanks for watching this episode of Dreamopedia. Hey man, what you wearing? Yo!